hate to break it to you, but I regret taking these fish. Who? The Nicaraguans. And I'll tell you why. Reason why, mainly, is because I thought they would enjoy this tank a lot more and not just spend their time <laughs> slowly but surely destroying the scape that Joey did for me in the tank. They're also not really breeding as I thought they might. So thankfully Joey will take them back for me so I can use this tank for something else. I want them gone. Well, well, <laughs> well. That's three wells. Told you I can count. Yeah, kind of sucks. It is what it is though. Worst part is, is Look that- they've done to this. Uh, they just move things around. Um, do you have like a little the, hose for me to drain water into? You, uh, you know, the worst part about fish keeping is, you know, there's no, obviously the, the token thing everybody loves to say, there's no one way to keep fish, but what I like to say is just because it worked for me doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You know, one of my things that I like to, to do when I was breeding discus is if they weren't breeding in my tank and I knew they, I knew damn well they were a breeding pair, I'd move them to a separate tank or move them to a new tank and they would breed. It would trigger it. Lots of things can trigger breeding. Uh, they got along in my tank, but might not get along in yours. You can move these fish from here. When I put them back in the 2000, they might not do well, or maybe they will, who knows? Bottom line is, Everything doesn't always work out. Maybe they truly think they are in jail. Maybe they read the comments. No, I think <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing with being on the internet is it's an opportunity for people to say, oh, I told you so. And the reason I don't get mad is I've been in the hobby too far too long, over 20 years. I know that maybe it wasn't gonna work, maybe it was gonna work. Maybe they will breed, maybe they won't breed. They haven't laid eggs. They're not really doing much in here. They're clearly miserable. Uh, I'm okay with taking them back simply because, well, the, the rays aren't in there anymore. And, uh, you know, things have changed. So we'll put them back in the 2000 and we'll go from there. Now, can I catch them without destroying the, without destroying the scape? That is unlikely, but I will try. But like I said, I might have to move some of this and rescape it another day. Go get in the nets, what you want. Yeah, you don't want to be here. Oh, look at you swimming all around. But see, the whole internet stuff, you're new to it. And I think that at times, I've read some comments and some people can be pretty nasty, but I think they do that to you because they know they can get away with it because you're a nice person. I think at this point people know that, well, probably shouldn't say that to Joey because he will clap back and say something. I'm a nice person. I'm just not going to tolerate like silliness and abuse. I'm going to have to take the wood out. Out she goes. Which is fine. You can rescape it on your own. I'm not helping. I'm not doing this scape again. I did it once. You have the plants. You've got the wood. The wood sinks now all on its own. Just make sure the wood goes right back in. Uh, as soon as we move these guys, because that you don't want it drying scape. it out. What? That was such a great scape. It's easy to replicate. With great, with a lot of plants and a lot of rocks and a lot of wood, everybody can make a scape look fantastic. That's another thing that I've learned from the internet and being on the internet this long is like, everybody's a beautiful scaper depending on the budget. Now, these guys have been isolated. They came from the 2000. They're from the same water source as the 2000. So I'm just gonna be able to dump these guys right back in. They have not come in contact with any other fish. It's like they never left. They're just gonna go into a much larger aquarium. Oh. They did that to me when I added them. To but you have to remember, tank. that's what the internet is. I've been dealing with, and the internet bullied me recently. People said, Joey, the gallery is so messy and it's not pro professional at all. Oh, here, yeah, here. Yeah. But there was at a time where this isn't relatable. Your equipment's too expensive. 
What I've learned is no matter what you do, there's always going to be people that say, that kind of sucks. Yeah, these guys will be fine. Oh, you know what I should do? Maybe I shouldn't put them in the 2000. Did I shut that door? Maybe I should put them in the racking system. I need my net. Uh-oh, I left it in the house. I'll go get it. Usually I send Tamara out to go get the, uh, go back into the house to get the nets and go up and down the stairs because I'm too out of shape. Uh, especially if you've gone to finsandfury.com and seen me with my t-shirt off. So I don't like to go up and down the stairs, but because we're filming, I'm uh, far more helpful and athletic. Look, see through it, everybody in here. Show you Tyrese's new tank. That's nice. He'll definitely like it in there. Never bad to have a look at the piranha. Every plant inside this tank is real. The only ones, oh, I was supposed to bring these to my fish room too, in case I want to use them. To my Queen's Cove, sorry. The plants up here are not real, but everything inside is. Sometimes I see people asking. There he is, Tyrese himself. And the salt water. So nobody's seen this yet or the fish that I'm going to do. I'm doing heavily planted. This was going to be the uh, boom boom room for the flower horn as well as my female parrot. But I think the boom boom room is going to have to move to down here. And it makes more sense because there's no substrate down there and more smooth rocks. Whereas this has the more of a Nicaraguan look. It has a fine sand, rocks, a piece of wood. I think they'll do fine in here, but we'll see long term. I say this and I want to put them in here for a simple reason. They came out of the 2000 and they did great in there when it had decorations, when it was scaped. It's not scaped yet and I don't have its new scaping materials. So I don't know for sure if they'll be okay in there. They love it. Luke likes to help me. He's a good helper to his mom. Anyways, I decided that I would bring these fake plants that Joey said I could use if I want to down. I'm just gonna toss them in my little box here where all my crap is. All right, so now that that's done and out of the way, we need to decide what we're gonna put in this tank instead. And Joey suggested platies. He said that they're also live bearers like guppies are, and they're a little bit bigger than guppies, and that they come in red, I think he said Dalmatian, which I'm interested in, like speckly ones, and Mickey Mouse, he said. So maybe those. I'm still very new to the fish keeping hobby myself, and I don't know a lot of the fish, but this is a 70 gallon acrylic aquarium. So let me know a suggestion that you might have, or if you think Pilates are a good idea, if you don't feel like writing it, your own comment of suggestion, you can like someone else's comment to put it to the top if it's what you want. So yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. And I'm going to need to re-scape this aquarium because it's kind of gotten destroyed. I guess I should have the light on so that you guys can actually see what I'm doing. So this piece of wood is still floating. I want to collect the plants that got loose so I know what I'm working with. Okay, well, I think all of them but one got loose. This bigger piece of wood is sinking now. Hmm. Maybe something like that and try to have it kind of look like how it looked. I think the placement of the plants is a little bit awkward, but that is going to be the way it looks for right now. But we definitely need to think about stocking options for this tank now. So this is what it looks like. Like I said, the plant placement might be a little bit awkward, a little bit too much like bunched together in some spots, but it'll do for now. And this is what it looks like 
from this side. So we'll see. Still could change it up if I want to. Not in a big rush tonight to do that. However, while I have you, I might as well tell you about the emergency that I had the other night. I was doing water change on the Trophius tank here and I was holding the hose with one of these red dumbbell weights and it was so that I could do the water change without having to stand here and babysit it. And the weight fell off and cracked my glass sump, which is a 15 gallon aquarium, which yes, it sucked that that happened, but I also was kind of planning on swapping out some of Battle Island for some bigger tanks anyway. I'm finding that having this many tanks as well as taking care of the house and stuff is a lot for me as a beginner hobbyist and it might be a little bit too many tanks for me at this time. So I'm thinking about upgrading tank sizes so that I will have some bigger tanks but less of them to take care of because this was a bit, I got a little bit in over my head I think. So you'll have to stay tuned to find out what I end up doing in the near future. Hey guys, I filmed all of this footage a few weeks ago and I'm just getting around to editing it right now. My apologies for having about two weeks or so between now and my last video. That is why I recommend that you subscribe because at times I am a bit sporadic with my upload schedule. Sometimes I'm consistent and sometimes I just get a little bit behind with my editing and whatnot. However, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up comment if you'd like and subscribe if you're not yet already and i will see you in the next one hopefully sooner than later bye guys